Come with us for a slice of To The Core, just one of Tasty Tours' deliciously local food and cultural walking tours. These tours are all about telling Guelph stories through food. They're a marriage of taste, walkability, and history. Welcome to Guelph, everyone. Thanks for coming on a Taste Detour today. I'm holding, fresh out of the oven, Eric the Baker sausage rolls. Does everyone want to just grab one? I've invited you here to what is our original city hall and actually market house and the statue of John Galt, who's the founder of our town. We're very much an agricultural region today still and strong in food, strong in our history of agriculture. And welcome to Atmosphere Cafe. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers! It's really typical of downtown Guelph restaurants to buy local. Really typical of downtown Guelph restaurants to support each other to in their endeavors and support ventures like mine. Uh, because I very much consider them my partners in this, this whole um, adventure that I call Tasty Tours. a true Trinidadian treat uh, today, which is called a double. Apparently, everyone in Trinidad, from like street sweepers to the prime minister, eats a double. They're called doubles, it's a very simple idea, because they're made with two bara, and bara is a beautiful deep fried bread. So they make one bara, they do this beautiful stewed chickpeas on top of that, and then another bara on top, and that's why the simplicity of the name double. Mejida, where we are now, used the name Mejida, which is an Ojibwean word, and it means let's eat, which they thought was sort of like a version of bon appetit. What is, what is Canadian cuisine? Is it just local food, or, or what is it? Because we were doing all this great stuff with local, but it never really seemed like it was Canadian. So uh, that got a little idea into our owners' heads, and they decided, you know what, we need to, we need to open up a restaurant to try and define what Canadian food is. The Welsh cakes are a real example of um, people using ingredients that they just had at hand, like really simple things like flour, a bit of lard. They always put some fruit in to make them seem special. I had never had Welsh cakes before I came here and Rebecca told me that as, as a child her grandma called them rock cakes or hard cakes. So they look like they're sort of pancakes but they're actually a bit like a scone too. They're a little marriage of, of a bunch of different things. Really interesting. Anne's the chief baker and owner. Uh, she has a very sweet connection to the beginnings of Guelph. You'll have to ask her about her great, 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 great grandfather. I love to end the tour on this street for a couple of reasons. One, it's a beautiful, beautiful little street. Um, at the end of it is St. George's Church, which actually used to be a little wooden church in our, in our St. George's Square at one point. I've uh, never been on a food tour and uh, it seemed like an intriguing idea and sure enough it is and I would absolutely do it again. Uh, it's a great way to get to know a city and walk around it. Learning a little bit about uh, the history of Guelph, I would recommend it to anybody. Tasty Tours is a great experience. Book your movable feast by visiting tastytours.ca.